at the Vuelta España, the last big race of the 2020 season, to find out from the riders who they think has been the best climber this year. Difficult to say. I didn't ride uh, to the France, so I cannot uh, speak from experience. But here in the Vuelta, I have the impression that uh, Carapaz and uh, Roglic are the best climbers. They both look uh, super impressive, but uh, maybe Roglic a little bit more. Uh, base climber, I, obviously, I think is uh, Tajay Pojagar. I think he surprised everybody this year. And uh, yeah, I mean, he's running the Tour de France. It's, uh, Spectacular and the best ride this season in the time trial there. It's hard to pick anyone else than uh, Roglic. I mean, he's been pretty unbelievable this year. He's been so consistent and so strong. Uh, so he's just he's just probably the best bike rider of 2020. Oh, certainly it's been uh, it's been Pogacar. I mean, winner of the Tour de France. We did that last time trial. He's been incredible. He's been almost unbeatable on a lot of these mountaintop finishes. Obviously, Roglic is up there too. But uh, uh, yeah, I mean, the way Pogacar rode in the Tour, undeniably the best climber this season. Oh, I'd say Primoz, but but he's good at everything, so that's an easy pick. <laughs> you probably have to go with Pogacar. What he showed uh, in the Tour de France was just incredible. But I don't think Roglic is far behind. So they, I think they are even. Roglic has been so far the most consistent, no? I think since we start racing again, he's been always up there. And I think he's showing still in La Vuelta that he is the strongest. I think Primoz is the most constant so far this year, yeah. The best climber of the season. Uh, sure. <laughs> there you go, right there. Uh, I think uh, I could should say my teammates uh, Tadej Pogacar or maybe also Miguel Angel Lopez after what he did on Col de la Loze. But uh, we can see also Roglic is he have a shape, incredible shape for so long time. It's something unbelievable from everyone.